Now this is the, the swarm that I caught. There's a swarm off of that hive over there. And this hive is packed full of bees. This has been a real good queen. She's a white queen from last year. And I don't know why, but last time I was looking in this hive, it looked like they were trying to, they were building super seizure cells. I don't know why they're not happy with her because I'm real happy with her. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get in this hive, see if I can find some super seizure cells. And if I can, I'm going to go ahead and make some splits. I got some nukes over here. I'll go ahead and put those frames with the cells in, the, in those nukes. All right, so this here is what I was talking about. I've got, I got a capped queen cell smack in the middle of the frame, which leads me to believe it's a super procedure cell. I don't know, like I said, I don't know why they're not happy with this queen. I think she's doing a great job, but I'm going to take this frame and I'm going to do a split off of it. There's a queen. Like I said, she's a white queen from last year. I don't have any complaints about her. She's a good queen. I usually keep one of these little queen traps in the pocket of my bee jacket when I'm doing uh, hive inspections like this. That way when I do find the queen, I put her in there, I set her on top of the frames here, and then I don't have to worry about squishing her during the inspection. Plus also, since I'm doing some splits today off this hive, that'll keep me from uh, transferring the queen over here into this nuke with the uh, with the queen cell on it. Bees are getting real grumpy now with this, uh, this cloud cover that's really coming in. But I mean, this is a real good full brood pattern. And this is why I say I don't understand why they'd want to supersede her. Well, instead of using these nukes, I decided to break out the old queen castle. I built this last year and it worked really well for me. And what it is, it's got four chambers, one, two, three, four, and a hole on each side. And the modification I did this year, let's see if I can get this open, was Last year I just had a piece of plywood nailed to the bottom, but I put a, put some screen mesh hardware cloth uh, on the bottom instead to help with ventilation because I'm, I'm using screen bottom boards on all my 10 frame hives now uh, for the extra ventilation, especially with as hot and humid as it gets here in Southeast Texas. So I'm thinking this is gonna work a lot better. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put uh, one frame in each of these uh, one swarm cell So I'll take this one out of here with the swarm with the uh, with the cell on it put it in here Take this one out of here put it in there. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got each one of these has a divider in between it. So I'm using two of these sections right now Each one of these has a frame With a queen cell on it and I made sure the queen cell is in between the two frames so then the other frame is a frame with cap brood and honey so I've got cap brood and honey with the queen cell in between and then the frame with the queen cell in each of these so what I did was I went ahead and moved all the original frames to the center of the hive and I replaced the frames I pulled out with new undrawn out plastic cell and I'll go ahead and release the queen let her curl back down there See if we can see her. There she is. There she goes. I'll go, go ahead and close up this hive and start on the next.